Hello, I'm David from Winning Solutions. I hope you're having a great day and thank you for viewing our web page and templates. At Winning Solutions, we have a huge array of database templates to choose from for almost any business need you have. Buying our developer use versions will get you the entire source code and also allow you to include the template as part of a larger project and customize the database down to the finest detail to meet your company's specific needs. Shrink-wrapped software generally doesn't allow that. You have to use it as is with no customizations. If you don't like the way something works, or want a new feature to be added, or anything of that sort, well, contact customer service. Hopefully they'll get to it in the next update. You have to use it as is with no customizations. With Winning Solutions, the licensing is very generous. The app can be used by as many people on as many computers as you want. And applications can be customized to your heart's content by you or anyone else with a knowledge of Microsoft Access. If you don't have this expertise or know someone who does, Winning Solutions can make any customizations you like, or perhaps build a brand new system from scratch. With Microsoft Access, nothing is ever impossible. If you need it, we can make it happen. Just contact us for a quote. These days, there is understandably a big push for mobile and web-based apps. If that meets your needs better, then we could do that for you too. But Access continues to be a popular tool because it's included with some versions of Microsoft Office, is relatively inexpensive, and is easy to work with for people with limited programming knowledge. So let's take a look at the enhanced task management database. So I just want to re-emphasize here that everything you see here are templates. These can certainly be used as is. If you have the full version, you have access to everything. But they are men, they're, they're not only can you customize them with the full source code and the full design view of everything, not only are they customizable, they're generally designed to be customized and enhanced and put in uh, put inside larger applications or made into larger applications, uh, customized and whatnot. So um, don't look at this and think, well, God, is this it? No, this isn't it. The, the, these are meant to be enhanced. So, you know, if, if you have the ability, access knowledge to do it, if you know someone or hire someone who has the access knowledge to do it, or of course, you could always hire us to do it. But uh, let's go through some of the uh, some of the features in here. So obviously, at the heart of this is going to be add task. And um, so we have some people in here. You you can you you have the ability obviously to to, to set up uh, uh, people in this database. In fact, maybe we should go there first. Maintenance, anything that you maintain lists of that are kind of what we sometimes call lookup tables are going to be in maintenance. And here, for example, uh, is an employee list, kind of generic, priority, high, normal, low, status. Uh, so we're, you know, we're not gonna do anything with these. Um, assigned to, again, these are the different people you can, you can assign tasks to. So. Uh, this, the, none of this, you, you can edit any of these. You can add lists too, by the way. I mean, you can add lists, you can uh, add um, you can add locations, you can add priorities, something like that. So uh, this is, the sky's the really the limit with this thing, but I just want to show you where these things come from. So let's get back to adding a task. Um, let's assign task to person one. And the task title is, uh, okay, location, uh, pick a location here. Uh, we'll assume it's not started. Normal priority, or maybe this one has a higher priority. Uh, start date, we can assume today. And we can have a due date of a week from now. Uh, when it gets completed, that gets done, percent complete. Um, the rest of this won't fill in right now. Uh, we can select a custom color for this task and that'll show a certain way in the calendar. Let's make this something obvious. Let's uh, make this 
a, a pink or, or a light purple task. So we're going to save this. And then when you look in calendar view, you see this is the custom color we gave it. So that, that's what that's all about. Um, uh, we can add uh, another one. Let's assign this to person two. Um, documentation. Uh, this person also in location one. Um, or let's say this one is in progress. It's normal priority. Uh, it was started a few days ago. Maybe it's due tomorrow. Uh, and that type of thing. Uh, it's 15% complete. And, you know, of course, last change by, last change date. These are things that can be changed as well. Let's save this one and close it. And so now we can search. Um, if I don't put any, uh, if I don't fill in these boxes at all, it's just going to search everything. Um, but, of course, you can search by location, but um, view in calendar form, view in task form. Um, and we can view in calendar form by double-clicking it. Again, that's the same thing we just put in and okay so that shows us the search and we can import of course all of this can be exported also to uh, to outlook as well so again you can sync this up you can export and um, even import from Outlook. So this, this can work seamlessly with existing Microsoft Office apps or as a standalone app of its own. So that is the Enhanced Task Management Database. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you find this demo useful. And again, remember, um, the sky's a limit that this is meant to be kind of bare bones right, right here, but this can be expanded and extended to any degree that you choose any degree that, that, that fits the needs of you or your organization. So thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe for more great videos and have a great day.